Let me have the day off and I'll do something really nice for you. Like what? It's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Christmas. We should be enjoying ourselves. All right, let's go shopping, me and you. I was just saying to Gran the other day about how we don't spend enough quality time together. Ah, uh, the sweet smell of parental manipulation. <laughs> Can we go, please? It's only one day. I'll go back tomorrow. Uh, have you got a minute? Well, afraid not. Um, we're going to go into town. The bus is due any minute. Yes! Uh, later then? Oh, I'm not really sure when I'm going to be back. And that was me thinking you were avoiding me. It was. Well, you're nothing if not honest, sir. We'll give you that. How was your day in town? Well, Bethany's a black belt in shopping, so I barely kept up. Yeah, you look knackered. Thanks. So I take you didn't come round here looking for a second-hand alarm clock? Oh, I, just, I can't do this, Todd. I just, I can't. I can't have his baby. I just all can't right, do all it. All right, all right. Take it easy. You know, it's New Year and they say it's all fresh starts and I just I can't go into it like this. All right, so you've made your decision then, yeah? Oh, having this baby, it's just, it's not an option. And then every time I looked into its eyes... Hey, you... You don't need to explain anything to me, OK? I'm going to have to do it soon, and it's just going to be... Come here, come here. Look, um, look, I'm here for you. You know that, yeah? And if if your heart's telling you it's the right mm. thing, it's the right... No, my head's telling me not my heart. I know I can't do this. I just... I cannot have this baby. OK. <sighs> <sighs> 